do a little more setup. No, it's not a harder setup. It's technically an easier setup because it has no shield. is actually very happy about this. Alright, that's the endeavor there. Now I gotta go turn in Fazaria's thing and I'll get tickets. And that'll complete the weekly. Because I scried something in Westfield. I scried a new item, the Saint and something. I don't know what it is at all, but I scried it. Like I it's it's a new mythic item, a new mythical piece of gear, but I have no idea what it's used for. Like I scried a piece of it. I don't know what it's what's what build. What does it go? With? Yeah. You want to do it? Yeah. Back so soon. You've you are dedicated. I'll greet more new guys. my tank to do dungeons because I don't want to wait for the queue on this character. One dungeon. I'm going to do one dungeon because that's going to complete the... Oh wait, why did I... Yeah, that's going to complete uh, Enlightenment. It's not going to progress me very far, but it's going to complete Enlightenment, and that's the important bit. Because I want to keep the main ones Part of the maintenance of NA is to do one dungeon per day on NA. So at least the CP maintains itself. Uh, if get over 15 million, not that I ever would, it, it stopped stacking. Which is unlikely though, you start losing experience. By not using up your enlightenment, you lose the boost. You don't get as much of a boost. Your boost runs out after 15. Not that it does anything really in this phase of the game, but that's what it does. Uh, so, I might as well hey. throw in a grand moment Since it's a tank, it gets almost on CQ. That's why I swapped a tank. Anyway, the pledges, by the way, are only going to really make an impact on EU, because it's EU that has all the shortage of keys. Do a set of Venusaurs praying point blank so I don't miss out on the... My main point there is to not miss out on the ticket. That's my strategy. Tickets are the really valuable stuff. The tickets and the people are the to get 10 tickets. That's why I bother. I'm just saying, like, my main objective for an A is not to just 
stack up stuff on it. Too much, it's just to maintain its status. It's EU or I have to into it, so I don't want the server to do badly. I want it to do do to do good. Well, I want it to do well, but I don't want to have to like put in about it ever all of a sudden when I make it. I have a bunch of extra scrolls on reserve. Fucking white. To the first little lap. 
Uh, it's why I'm not doing a lot. I'm not doing it on EU because I just don't have a lot of gear on EU that's suitable. Like, I'm, I'm working my butt off trying to make it work. I just can't. There it is. Oh, I got time to lose it for it on EU without having to get basic gear. Well, not even being in CT yet. I got paid mean, for that level but 20. I'm like, in my current, and that's just an awkward position where I have like 300, I have enough speed to do advanced content. It's 300 plus, but I don't have the gear. Here I have, I have someone sits here that's not, it's not the kind I need. It's not the kind that's going to do like, great stuff. Like I said, I did it without gear or even DP level or anything that you think matters. I don't uh, understand how that's here possible. Here. I'll take your word for it. It's all about how you build your character to survive. If you got enough healing per second coming in, if you got enough resistances. The biggest thing about getting doing infinite archive is having a solo build that can keep itself alive while dealing with damage you need to do and resisting. Resistances, resistances, resistances. So if you get over 2.5k resistances and you got some good heal over time coming in, good damage over time going out, you can do infinite archive at least for the first throw at. It's not that bad. You just gotta know how to build your character. I just gotta know what gear I can access there. Any garbage gear, it's more about your skills that you take in and how you use them. You can take just standard crafting gear that's not even part of a set. That's what I did. I just took crafting gear the correct weights and uh, traits and in fact, I think half of it I've just found in random normal dungeons. It was just garbage that I slapped on. But it's more about me having skills that mitigated a lot of damage, like, uh, yeah, since I didn't on my necro. Yeah, your tank should be able to clear it though, I have to it. It's got jolting here, and it's got jolting and, uh, jolting and some ribbon. It's not, it's not like, it's nothing fantastic, but it can tank veteran dungeons. Like, it can tank veteran banished cells too, it can tank buttons. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can do it with that character, it's fairly easily. Oh, I'm about to go out already. I, my main, main thing, you know what, I think the group is here. to get on inane, I mean you now, now that I've completed my dungeon and such, and maintenance, I think. Well, was it maintenance though? That's the real question. This, and that, okay. I think we're cool. I think we're cool. There we go. 